Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy you are here. You guys, I am so excited for today's craft. Wait till you see what we're making. It is this darling candle lantern. Is it not the cutest? And wait till you see what I use to make this. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to show you how to make this so you can make one for your home too. So to begin, you're gonna need these two things from Dollar Tree. This is a candlestick. I was so happy to find these. I've been on the hunt for these for so long from Dollar Tree. And then one of these glass vases also from Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna simply take this and put it on top. We're going to attach it with clear E6000. You can get this at the craft store. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. You can have it shipped right to your home on Amazon. And they also sell it in white. I recommend the clear for lots of projects. Then I also used a little piece of homespun fabric that I tore, uh, but you could use any kind of ribbon. And then a little rusty star here, which I get on Amazon. I love adding the tea light into this, but have fun with this and do whatever you'd like. Now this tea light is actually from Amazon. You can get tea lights at Dollar Tree as well, but those, once you turn them on, you have to manually turn those on and off. These are on a timer. They're from Amazon. I'll include a link for these. These are great because once you turn them on, they'll shut off and then they'll turn back on the following day. Then I just buy the little replacement batteries at Dollar Tree. So, uh, so when you need it, when it's time to replace the batteries, just get that at Dollar Tree. All right, you guys, so let's get crafting here. What I'm gonna do is gonna take the, my candlestick and you're gonna see like there's a rim here. I'm gonna place my E6000 right on that inner rim. So when I put this on here, that outer rim is kind of stuck right there. See how that is right there? So I'm gonna just take my clear E6000, give it a little squeeze, and I'm just going to slowly working that around. And then you're gonna let this dry, and you're gonna have a nice hole. Now I know some people do use hot glue some people use hot glue and the E6000. I usually like to use one or the other, but you do you. Sometimes I have used both, but I'm just using the clear E6000. So strong, it's got such a smell. And then I'm just going to pop it right on top here. And so my rim is showing right around there. So easy. Look at just like that, it's super cute, but we're gonna even make this cuter. So then you're just gonna let it sit don't touch it, let it dry, let it do its magic. Just set it aside, it actually dries very, very quickly. And now I'm gonna show you, once you dry, what it looks like. Now the one thing I do wanna mention as well, when you get your glass vase, there's gonna be a little sticker on it. Make sure you take your sticker off too. So use Goo Gone. Um, I sometimes take a hair, um, a hair dryer directly to it and that helps peel it off and then I'll just scrub the rest off with some hot soapy water. So just make sure you don't forget to take the sticker off first. So take that sticker off and then get your clear E6000 and then once you set it aside, give it a few hours and then this is what you're left with. See, it's gonna be nice and hold. You can hold it just like that and it's not coming apart. So, uh, but let it hold, it's not gonna move. And that's why I like the clear six ounce on opposed to the hot glue. The, this has such a great, strong hold. So now you have this beautiful, you could leave it just like this, super cute. But I am going to take a piece of homespun fabric, which I got here. Now what I like to do, everybody always asks me, I posted this craft actually on Instagram. Everybody loved it. So I wanted to create a video here to show you as well. So I get my homespun fabric, that's what it's called, at Hobby Lobby. And you're just going to take however long you want it. Just kind of take your scissors and then you're just gonna tear it. And you're gonna get a torn piece of homespun fabric. So that's how you get the torn homespun fabric that you can then use to wrap around your different crafts. So that, I like to do it that way, but if you want to, you can of course use scissors and cut it too. But this is what I have from the piece that I cut out before when I was prepping all of my supplies. One thing I like to do when I get crafting, of course, part of crafting is being creative and being in the moment and kind of tweaking things as you go along. 
but I sometimes like to get all my initial supplies laid out first. So I kind of have um, a way to kind of like know exactly what I'm doing. And then as I go along, I kind of tweak things around. So now it's time to decorate this. So I'm gonna take my little piece of homespun fabric and I'm just gonna wrap it around. You'll see here, there is like a little like groove and that is where I'm going to put my fabric kind of in that groove. If I needed to cut it down, I could, which I might want to. I just kind of eyeballed a little piece off, but let's see. Let's see how I did this one. I might want to trim that. See, that looks good. You can always fold it over. Now, because I want to get the most out of my fabric, I'm actually going to pull this piece because when I trim this, I'll have a nice little extra piece left. So if I did, if I just want half and half, I'd have extra, I want to, get the longest piece left over. So there we go. So there I have my little knot, but you could use ribbon. And I'm not gonna hot glue this because I can change it out seasonally too, which is the nice thing, the beauty of this. So if you wanna add a seasonal color, maybe at Christmas time, you have a Christmas ribbon, you can change it out as opposed to hot gluing it around. So this is a great way to customize it seasonally too. I now I just take a little knot. So there. But do you see why I did the longer piece there? So when I trim this off, I'll have a nice extra piece for another craft. All right. So we'll just trim that. I'm kind of making this similar to the one I made here. All right. And so there is that. And now I'm going to take one of these little rusty stars. I love these little stars. I get them on Amazon. I'll include a little link for these as well. And I'm just going to include, um, actually I'm gonna trim this off a little bit more. I'll include a link for these as well too. Oops. I'm actually gonna tear that so I get the little torn. And then you can just take the little stringies off too. So now I'm gonna get my glue gun and I'm just gonna glue a little star. I may wanna trim that. Uh, little piece of fabric even more actually all right and so I'm just gonna that's where I'm gonna add the hot glue and then if I want to change this I can just pop that off and change out my ribbon or you can even cut your ribbon too all right easy peasy and so cute and what cute little gifties to you guys oh my gosh how cute would this be for a little gift for a couple of dollars, use any kind of fabric you have on hand. Let's just give that little twist around right there. All right, so now I'm going to fill this with, I don't need any more hot glue. So now I'm gonna take some uh, Spanish moss. You can get Spanish moss at the crafts or at Dollar Tree. This is just a bag that I got from, uh, from Hobby Lobby. So you get a nice big bag. So I'm just adding my moss in here. I actually had a plate here so I could put my plate down because it gets a little messy. So I'm just taking my moss and then I'm just going to take this and kind of just pluck it down. And now I'm going to take my little tea light from Amazon. And again, you turn it off and then once you turn it on, then it starts the timer. So it'll go six hours on and then 18 hours off, I believe. I believe. And then I just kind of get my finger in there and press it down. And look how thinking cute, you guys. How adorable is this craft for just a couple of dollars? Again, you could put anything inside of there. I just thought the moss was really cute with the tea light. And I felt that I wanted to put something in there. The tea light just looked a little plain by itself. But look at how cute this is. I absolutely love this. This is something I've, I'm absolutely in love with. I have a couple now. I'll definitely be using these in my home too. I hope you enjoyed this easy peasy craft. I hope you can find the supplies at your Dollar Tree to make these too. If you make one as well, you know, I would love to see. Make sure you snap a picture and tag me on Instagram at Mother Time so I can see your crafts that you've made that you've tried. 
Also too, if you have not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. I will see you guys again in the next video. Take care, you guys. Thanks for watching.